our uh, liquor license, our health department license, and our basic business license have been removed because we did not comply with the mayor's masking and or checking personal medical status. My name is Eric Flannery. I'm the managing partner of the Big Board. It's a Washington, D.C. restaurant. The city implemented a, these mandates on January 15th. I did some soul searching and looked and said, you know what, the Big Board's been a place where everybody's always been welcome, and we're gonna continue to be a place where everybody's always been welcome, or always will be welcome. The health department came in, they, they saw some stuff that we needed to fix. I went ahead and fixed it all. I got a, everything's fixed great from the health department when they came in, except for the portion of complying with the requirement that my staff wear masks and that we check people's personal medical papers when they came in. They removed the liquor license on a Friday, and by the following Tuesday, they had come in to remove our health department license. So right now at Big Board, we've obtained legal, legal counsel. I think, ultimately, uh, DC's gonna come to the right answer. It's the capital city of the United States of America. I love this country, I serve this country. I, I believe in what it is. I have to be optimistic, I, I really do. But in the end, people are gonna realize that these aren't any kind of partisan values. They're American values. They're values that we all have grown up and known to be true. There are so many people from everywhere across this great country of ours that are, that are sending stuff to me and sending letters of support. This is just one. This is just one of the many, many that I have. Uh, this is from Amherst, Wisconsin. Just want you to know, do not, you do not stand alone in your fight against this total ridiculousness. We appreciate folks like yourself who are willing to uh, risk your livelihoods to fight for our freedoms. Uh, we know this is a drop in the bucket for the financial losses you must be experiencing. Uh, thank you for standing up. And then they left a quote. Uh, now is the time for all good men to come to the aid of their country. Now more than ever. And uh, I've never met them before in my life. I, I, don't, I don't even know if I've ever been to Wisconsin, but they, they put a $500 check in there. And uh, wow, I mean, thank you. Thank you, and there, there are so many people who are, who are doing this, and it's so, I know we're doing the right thing. My goal has always been to get this bar back open here in, in Washington, D.C., and I really think we can get that done. It's a family for me here in D.C. They're not, they're not customers, they're, they're friends. It's not my staff, they're my friends, they're my coworkers. This was my dream. I, I've got to live my dream for 10 years and I've enjoyed all of it. It's good for the neighborhood. It's a place where everybody's welcome and people join together and have good conversations and have fun and talk with people who maybe they don't necessarily 100% agree with. It, it's been my privilege, my absolute privilege to be down here for all this time.